forgot your hermit. I mean, I expected you earlier. What about body weight today? Uh, here is the scale, if just to follow me here. Yeah. 10 days out now, the Olympia. Let's see. 292.6. 292.6. How much uh, this is in kilos? How much? 131.6 kilos. Um, sounds heavy, but uh, I have still 10 days time. And I think you're competing between 280 and 285 probably. This is my trophy from the Arnold Classic. So I have still the trophy here because of two reasons. One reason uh, is uh, to motivate me for the upcoming Olympia. The other reason is to remind me how hard it is uh, to achieve uh, top spot, place number one. So it's a reminder, a good reminder. Mitz, I have here uh, my two chicken breasts, and I have here my, my sweet potato or yams or whatever. And I have here onions, and I have here um, uh, tomato in slices. Right. And the diet always high protein, low carbs, low fat, plenty of water um, during the daytime, also during uh, the meals, because the more you eat, uh, excuse me, the more you drink, the more you actually slow down your digestion process. I like to slow down my digestion process to eat less, to have longer, uh, a longer time of, uh, to, uh, to have a longer period of time, my stomach filled up so that I don't eat that much. Normally you shouldn't eat that, you shouldn't drink that much uh, fluids during the meals, but I intentionally do it. And now the weather here is still hot. I'm sweating the whole time. I'm doing lots of cardio. I'm um, using the tanning bed, so I feel most of the time thirsty. And if I don't uh, drink enough, I feel dehydrated. I become nervous. I become aggravated. So um, I'm used to drink more and more. And it's also very important to drink lots of water, especially when you are when you are having a high protein intake, because it's a lot of uh, pressure for the kidneys. So to flush. Um, all the toxins out, you have to drink also lots of water. And uh, right now, just water, just coffee, um, tea, no artificial sweetener, um, actually very plain, no spices here, um, no pepper, no, um, no, no salt anyway, no sodium. Take the sodium out by a natural way. This means uh, I avoid egg whites the last three weeks because they contain a lot of sodium, so if one word I cut naturally the sodium out. I don't do any sodium loading. I don't do any potassium loading. Um, uh, the closer I come to the show, the more I watch out what I'm eating uh, specifically uh, uh, regarding sodium. The, low, uh, the, more, uh, the less sodium I have from the food, the better it is and the harder I become. Okay. I don't know if you remember um, two and a half weeks ago when we had uh, one of our last uh, tapings in the gym, at powerhouse gym. I showed you how my, now I don't have any big amounts of fluid, you know, for sure. That's because the sodium goes out slowly and slowly and I'm getting also harder here. You see this here. Cutting sodium out means also feeling weak. And um, the closer I come to the show, uh, the more I feel weak. I would say the last two weeks are the hardest. But um, I'll manage this, for sure. Uh, it's very, very essential and important uh, to train as heavy as possible. A lot of people ask me, what does it mean heavy? Heavy means training in the rep range between uh, six and, uh, I would say, eight reps per set. But in general, if it comes to the upper body, I would say six, eight reps are pretty heavy. It depends on the recuperation time, depends on your biorhythm, it depends on your food intake, uh, your sleeping habits, so it's always uh, different. But uh, in general, to put uh, size on, you have to train heavy, even in pre-contest time, you're supposed to train heavy, and if you feel very, very tired, then just skip a training day. Don't go to the gym, uh, stay at home, recuperate, Try to sleep, try to eat more to feel the very next day better. Um, I think you should never train uh, more than uh, two or three days in a row. Otherwise, uh, you think you are training intense, but you are not. Even after three days, you need a break off season or pre contest. Also, important uh, to have a good uh, nutrition basis. Should feed your body on a daily basis of protein, 
with uh, multiminerals, with vitamins. Uh, uh, otherwise, uh, you get uh, in a kind of stagnation phase. Uh, besides bodybuilding, you shouldn't get obsessed with bodybuilding. You should do something else. You should do something for your brains. You should uh, read uh, newspapers. You should read books. You should watch TV. You should, be, you should spend time uh, with your kids, with your family. So uh, even if bodybuilding is important to you, nevertheless, you should have a life besides bodybuilding. But, uh, for this uh, upcoming Olympia, I'm uh, uh, pretty confident. I'm uh, positive. It's my seventh qualification for the Olympia this year in row, and uh, so I have high demands of myself, and uh, I'm uh, looking forward to the show. Thank you. One so-called training log. It started at the 14th of uh, December 98. I'm actually keeping track uh, of my training since uh, I would say 10, 11, 11 years. I write in this book on a daily basis down um, what I'm training, <clears throat> what kind of uh, supplements I've been taking so far, how I felt during the training and uh, what kind of poundages I used during the training. I write the exercises down. I write for example, I'm getting ready now for the Olympia uh, 99. I can compare that what I'm doing right now, the weights which I'm using, whatever, um, with uh, the time frame during the Arnold's Classic. I'm 10 days out of the Olympia now. I compare this, for example, um, with that, what I have been doing 10 days out of the Arnold's Classic this year. I think it's very, very um, important and uh, effective as a, uh, as a guy as a, who is in uh, bodybuilding, as an amateur or as a professional, to keep track of what you are doing because you forget always that what you have been doing uh, so far. Um, besides that, I have here um, actually written down, either I do it or my wife does it, she does it actually most of the time, uh, she writes it down, uh, what kind of calories, uh, uh, daily calorie intake I have. Um, for example, we have here the 8th of August 99, it was uh, Sunday, I was eating oats, um, a banana, strawberries, orange, had a protein shake, in the afternoon I had rice, I had zucchini, I had a mahi-mahi uh, fish, I had a tomato, I had a mango in the afternoon, a half a mango. I had later on a steak, mushroom, potato. Um, I had uh, five grams of oil, uh, 50 grams of salad. So she writes down during the diet, but just during the diet, 12 weeks out of the show. On a daily basis, what I'm eating, she writes down the carbs, um, the protein and the fats. And so at the end of the day or during the day, I know how much I have to eat or how much I have been eating so far. So I can calculate uh, with my calories. If I was today maybe um, like on this day at uh, 208 uh, grams of carbs, I know if I have to go tomorrow on lower carbs or if I have to increase my carb intake. And I know exactly what I've been eating so far. And I know this also, for example, for the time frame, five, six, or seven, or eight years ago. I transfer that, the amount of the calories in my training log. So one depends of the other. And like I said, I have these two different scripts here, and they go along with each other. It's very, very beneficial. I can advise everyone who is uh, ambitious to have something like that. You shouldn't be lazy. In off season, I don't write down what I'm eating. But in pre-contest, I always, always write down what I'm eating. And um, I think this is one of the reasons why I'm a kind of successful in that kind of sport. And um, that what I'm eating right now was written already uh, down before. And so uh, tonight I will know uh, if I have to eat 10 grams or 15 grams of carbs more or whatever.